as it fires that element up and the top of the tank gets to temperature, then this thermostat stops sending power to the top element and it sends power to the bottom element. And then when the bottom element is satisfied, the bottom element will kind of revert that power back up to the top. Um, and actually the way that it happens, the bottom element becomes satisfied, the top, as long as it is satisfied, it continues to send power to the bottom element. And then if there's ever a condition where cold water is just running out of the tank, and that line between cold water and hot water increases, this thermostat cools back off, and this thermostat pulls power away from the bottom element and re-energizes the top element. So the first element that should come on in the sequence of operation is this top element. The way to understand if this top element is receiving power, again, you're gonna use your multimeter, you're gonna set it to voltage AC, and then you're gonna put your leads one on each of one of these screws. And in most residential applications, you should be getting 240 volts. If you get 240 volts right here, this element is being energized and calling for heat. If you get 120 volts right here, then chances are this element is not calling for heat. So once you see that you have 240 volts right here, the very next step is you take your multimeter and you, you check amperage with it. So our multimeter has this amp clamp on the top. We would simply open the amp clamp up and run it around each wire, okay? So we're gonna check amperage on this wire and then we're gonna pull this wire over and again, we're being very safe because the power's back on and we're gonna check amperage on this wire. So most residential water heaters are gonna have a 4,500 watt element. And if we take 4,500 watts and we divide that by the 240 volts that are coming in and as power, then we are left with 18.75. So volts times amps equals watts. We have 240 volts coming in. We have 18.75 amps running through these wires. That creates 4,500 watts. So when we have a 4,500 watt element and we have 240 volts coming in, 